Even though Tess was five years old when we got her, she wasn't house trained. She had spent much of her life in a kennel, so it took some training to help her realize the house was not a toilet. Welcome to A Word Fitly Spoken with Christian author and Bible teacher, Dana Rangioni. All in all, she's done well, and to make things easier, we installed a doggy door so she could let herself out when she needed to go. We were hopeful there would be no more incidents in the house, but one thing we failed to consider is how much our pup hates inclement weather. If she needs to go when the sun is shining and the winds are calm, she'll gladly let herself out. The same cannot be said, however, when it's nasty outside, which it often is this time of year in Wales. This morning when we first got up, Jason tried to make things easier for her by opening the kitchen door to let her out. She took one look at the rain and ran off into the furthest part of the house. He tried again, and she went outside, waited for Jason to close the door, then turned right around and came back in the doggy door. Since I'm home with her most of the time, I've become well acquainted with this behavior and know the only way to get her to do her business is to go outside in the weather with her. So I grabbed my jacket off the hook, and together we ventured into the weather. Within a minute, she had relieved her bladder and hurried back to the door. Thankfully, I've learned to relieve my bladder before going out and standing in the rain, waiting for her to take care of business. I don't know why it is she'll go out if I'll go with her, but it works every time. I guess she's a bit like Moses. Stay with me. I haven't completely lost my marbles. Look at this passage of scripture and see if you can't spot the similarity between this man of God and my reluctant terrier. And Moses said unto the Lord, See, thou sayest unto me, Bring up this people, and thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. Now therefore I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, Show me now thy way, that I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. For wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight, and I know thee by name. Exodus thirty-three twelve through 17 Did you see it? After hearing God's directions, Moses declared, If you're not going with me, I don't want to go. Moses knew the thing that separated Israel from every other nation was the ever-present God who ruled and cared for them. Without God present in their midst, Moses feared they would fail. He didn't want to go it alone. He knew he didn't have what it took to complete such a task. So he put it plainly, either we do this together or I don't do it. I can't say Tess's motives are quite so spiritual but maybe they do have a spiritual bent to them. Perhaps she's willing to venture into the storm because she knows I'm there to protect her. It's one thing to face the storm alone, but quite another to face it with the master nearby. Maybe, too, it helps her to know that her master is not asking her to do something she's not willing to do herself. No, I don't particularly appreciate going out in the rain, but it shows Tess I'll do whatever I can to help her to do what I've asked her to do. Isn't that just like our master? He never expects us to face the storm alone, and he never asks us to do anything without his help. He is continually present with us, making it easier for us to be strong and courageous as we face the hardships of this life. Rain or shine, he is near. In the good times and the bad, he's with us. What a comfort it is to know we never have to walk alone. I think Tess and Moses might have the right idea. May my daily prayer be, I'll go, Lord, but only if you go with me, 
for without you, I can do nothing. You've been listening to A Word Fitly Spoken with Christian author and speaker, Dana Rangioni. Dana is the author of over 20 books, inspiring and encouraging the old and young alike to find joy in serving Jesus. To find out more about Dana's ministry and to sign up for her devotional blog, visit DanaRangioni.com.